and you have made it possible for us to just shelter in place. Thank you, North Coasters, for jumping in. Thank you for being the example of service for others in the community. And thank you for being a, a gift from God for all of us at the Foundation for Senior Care. We're in our 70s and we both have underlying conditions. So we're trying really hard to be as careful as possible. So it's been absolutely wonderful to have one less thing that you have to go out into the community for. And um, the service has been really good. It's, um, so nice to be able, well, let me put it this way. I shopped at Major Market before, that was where. So I know what they had in stock. So I could kind of go through my mind and go, well, this is what I need and this is where it is and make the list that way. And that's, that's worked out really well. It's been yeah. it's just been a real blessing for us. Both of us are in situations where we can't afford to be in contact uh, from risk factor standpoint. Yeah. So. Our big outings are mostly to the doctors. <laughs> yeah. stuff together and uh, I mean you know you guys make all these uh, things and uh, and we all sing together we walk together um, it's, it's just everybody's together that's beautiful <laughs> memory in the club is walking in the door and seeing really nice people and I always look at eyes I don't look at their bodies I look at their eyes and I look in their eyes and I see them shining I know where I'm supposed to be and no pressure this is only going to be seen across the world on television <laughs> Well, as long as the check's in the mail. You'll come and find the place where I'm lying. And kneel and say, I'm always there for me. Thank you. 
The Door Through Door program provides support from hospital or skilled nursing facility to home. And we coordinate the care with hospital staff, social workers, or home health companies. We pr um, provide whatever needs they need and put it in place so that we can prevent the continual revolving door of returning to the hospital. The fire chief had personally called because we had one client who had, in he was declining and within a couple of months he um, had, gosh, I would say over 30 falls. And he said, we need to do something. He had fallen, went to the hospital, but this time we made sure that he wasn't um, released because it would have been unsafe release. If he was falling that much and his wife was declining, she couldn't take care of him anymore. And when he went from the hospital to the skilled nursing facility, we followed and we made sure that we made contact with the social worker and we explained the situation. And we said, at this point, this is how many times he's fallen. We have tracked him from skilled to home, but his decline now is so severe that if he falls and hits his, hit, hits his head, he could have a stroke and then he's gonna die. And they kept him and it made a world of difference. So he got the care that he needed. Welcome to Foundation for Senior Care's virtual event, Reach Out 2020. Five minutes, we're gonna, we're gonna get started in five minutes. We're so excited to have you join us tonight. Here's what to expect. We're gonna do things a little bit different. So if you're watching tonight on your computer, we're gonna ask that you also join us with your smartphone, your iPad, your tablet. If you can use one of those devices and register at reachout2020.ggo.bid reachout2020.ggo.bid. You'll also see that link on the bottom of the screen. Tonight, we're gonna have three winners, but you must be registered to win. That's right, every registered guest, if you're watching with friends, but you register yourself, you will get a chance to win tonight three times. Our gala tonight is gonna to be on Zoom. We're asking you to please mute your microphones at all times, but we would encourage you to use the chat bar. You can make comments, talk to your friends, but you can also donate money. Any gift you donate to Foundation for Senior Care tonight is gonna to be welcomed, appreciated, and chances are I'm gonna read your name out live as we see the bids come in. So thank you very much for all your gifts. You can donate now, you can wait till we start the show, you can share it with your friends, anybody can donate. Remember tonight, log in at reachout2020.ggo.bid. You'll need to be registered for our live auction, our online auction, which is gonna be open for another week after the event. Thank you for joining us. We're gonna start the program in about four and a half.
Good evening. I'm Dr. Bob Pace. I'm president of the board of directors of the Foundation for Senior Care here in Fallburg. Uh, we want to welcome you to our first gala event that is um, being held as a virtual event. And this may be our last virtual event. Um, last year, on the same weekend, we had a great evening at the Palo Mesa. It was based on the game of Clue. Everyone came in a Clue type of a costume, and it was a lot of fun. It was a good evening for the foundation. This year, it looks like we're mostly home. Hopefully, we're not all home alone. I was in orthopedic practice here in the Fallbrook area for 41 years and retired last year and uh, joined the foundation as a way of providing some service and giving this service back to the community. And uh, there's always room for volunteers and if you're interested, you can certainly contact the Foundation for Senior Care to become a volunteer. Uh, looking back over this past year, I'm most proud of the foundation for how we responded to the pandemic. The pandemic hit us hard in the middle portion of March and we converted that weekend uh, from uh, moving uh, seniors around in, uh, with our transportation vehicles to providing services and bringing uh, groceries and food to them both from major market as well as with the uh, food pantry. And we, this is a program that we're presently even doing. Um, in, the, in a six month period, we delivered over 1,700 food deliveries for, um, from major market as well as from the food pantry. Um, we're proud of the service that we've provided here. And over the next hour, you're gonna be hearing more about what the services are that are available and uh, Teresa and Darren are going to be um, running a, an, a live auction, and we hope that you really enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Pace. Different venue, different times. Yeah, we definitely are. Um, reach out 2020. It's a whole different thing when we say reach out. Um, and thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I'm joined with Teresa Gerasitano. She's with Foundation for Senior Care. Uh, Teresa, how are you? I'm doing great tonight, Darren. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. I'm glad Here, to be back. In the studio and in, not at Mall and Mesa. Yes. But thank you everyone so much for, for tuning in tonight and reaching out through your computer screens um, to be here with us. This is, um, Dr. Pace said earlier, yeah, I'm a foundation for senior care. Every, everything we do is to help seniors. But uh, he talked about a program, a new program that you guys just implemented this year. This is your, um, you were going out and you were serving food. You're delivering food to seniors that couldn't get out. And you did this in record time. I mean, three, four days later, mm -hmm. after COVID hit and everyone was locked down, you guys responded right off the bat. I think I heard him say, what, over a thousand? Over 1,700 That's deliveries. more than 1,000. That's definitely more than 1,000. So how'd you put that together that quick? It was a, an amazing time. If everyone thinks back to when all this first started, it, and there was that stay in home order for seniors, and we had to shut down our care vans. So we couldn't bring those seniors that didn't have a way to get to the store. So we quickly thought about um, what our response would be. And we were able to put together a grocery delivery program with the help of Major Market, who was also a sponsor tonight. So thank you. Uh, and it served more seniors than we ever expected because there was such a need in our community. Fallbrook is very rural and we did not have any grocery delivery programs in the town at that point. And this was something that um, there was no budget for this no. at Foundation for Senior <laughs> Care. And that didn't stop you guys from doing it. Um, I think the board stepped up in a huge way. And mm -hmm. they said, this is what we're going to do because this is what we have to do. It wasn't really much of a discussion. Um, it just happened. And I think I remember uh, you and I were trying to start planning this event back then. And you said, hey, this is what we've got to do now. And you were overwhelmed at the support the community gave you. Am I right? Is that a correct statement? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, we were very overwhelmed by how Fallbrook came together in our support. Sorry. It's, oh, I mean, that you it had was. the same emotion then. You did. 
you were you were crying happy tears <laughs> like you are now. It was amazing that the 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 community came out and supported us. And and that's why we're here tonight again, right? We're going to we're going to continue to fund this and we need your help. There's so many different ways you can get involved tonight. Um, you're participating on Zoom. We're excited to have you, but most importantly, we need you to get online and register. We need to know that you're here. There is a link right below. Reachout2020.ggo.bid. That's reachout2020.ggo.bid. We also have a phone number you can call. We have 760-723-7570. 760-723-7570. Teresa, who's, who's answering the phones? Our staff is answering the phones tonight. That's the, awesome. The same staff that serves over a thousand seniors a year, and not only the seniors, but their families as well, as we're gonna hear from June and Nikki. We came from Long Beach where it's a fairly large city and had no facilities like the caravan. And uh, it was just a marvelous feature for us. And my daughter will attest to the fact that that is one of the factors of us staying in Fallbrook was the nice care drivers and all of the people at the foundation. I live in Long Beach, so it's a couple hour drive down and usually about three hour drive back and what the senior foundation afforded me was peace of mind so when my mom needed to go to the grocery store or go to a doctor's appointment or have any sort of business that required transportation i could not come down here on a daily basis what the foundation allows her to do is have a quality of life that she would not have had without the support of all the services that the foundation provided her. Darlene, not only from my personal experience, but other people here in the complex and friends of mine in the city have just lauded her. She is wonderful. She gives over 110%. Uh, she's an amazing person. They're also on a very limited income, and so the foundation provided resources that I would have no idea. I was, um, my mind was blown on how to try to go about finding services for them. I felt like I was continually butting my head against a brick wall and getting nowhere, and yet the foundation was able to get her and her husband involved in services like the pantry that provided them fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, the walker that she's using came from the foundation. The walker that Bob used came from the foundation. The peace of mind that I have living in Long Beach, knowing that they were cared for and supported. Um, there's just not a price tag that I can put on that. And everybody is so friendly and so nice that we feel that they have become friends more than just a source of transportation. June, that smile gets me every time. Teresa, we, uh, we've got some winners. We do, we have our first raffle winner and they win four tickets to the Botanical Gardens and in a beautiful succulent arrangement. And the winner is Brandon and Anna Miller. Congratulations. Congratulations, Brandy, that's cool. It's not too late. That's right, if you have not registered, reach out 2020.ggo.bid, B-I-D. It's not too late to register. If you are registered, you'll be able to participate. I think we have two more, right, Teresa? We do. Two more, two more drawings we'll be doing tonight. You have to be registered to win. Plus, we just wanna know you're here. Um, Teresa, Foundation for Senior Care, we, we can't do what you do now without volunteers, am I right? You are absolutely right. We couldn't have, we couldn't have had the response with our grocery delivery without the more than a hundred people who stepped forward to volunteer, whether making cards or delivering groceries or being a personal shopper. And so right now we're gonna hear from one of our caravan drivers, Terry, about her experience. 
I am so blessed to deliver the groceries for the people that have a low immune system and for so many elderly people. It's the first time I delivered, there was a lady and she waved upstairs and tears were rolling down her eyes like, oh, she said I was her angel because she couldn't get out. It was really bad when the pandemic first started. So after that, I was just so blessed to be able to help everybody and deliver groceries and see how they're doing. And I love my job. It's so sweet when I, when I go there, I'm the only person that they see and they want to visit and they want to talk and talk. And I try to make time for them, you know, through their screen door and we're always six feet apart and I have other groceries to do, but I try to make time for them. They're so sweet and they're so lonely. Oh, so lonely because they don't have family in there. We, a lot of times we call them orphaned seniors. And so, yeah, I love being able to just spend like five minutes with them. It makes their day, makes mine too. Remember, we cannot do this without your help. And two things that just came in, a big shout out to Jim and Miriam Kirk for $500 gift. Jim, Miriam, thank you so very much for that $500 gift. And Brian and Kathy Harney, $2,000. Thank you so much. Dr. Pace, you need to serve them another drink. I believe they are at your virtual watch party right now watching along. So thank you very much for giving. You can donate now. You can donate in the chat bar. If you're in Zoom on the right, on the bottom, there's a chat bar, open that up, make your gift, make your donation. You can also call us 760-723-7570, or you can get online, reach out 2020.ggo.bid. One of our newest programs is our door through door hospital to home program. This is an amazing program that helps a few hundred seniors each year come home from the hospital and re really have the chance to recover at home. So we provide transportation, make sure they understand the care that needs to happen at home. If home care is needed, that that's in place. Even that their prescriptions are picked up. And if they've been out of in the hospital for a while, making sure there's food in the home. We are so grateful for the area hospitals that partner with us in this program. And an especially grateful partner is Temecula Valley Hospital. And now we'll hear from Brian Visser at Temecula Valley Hospital. Oftentimes in, in healthcare, you know, we describe our hospital as, a, as an acute care hospital. An acute problem is something that is immediate, that is urgent, that has to be resolved now. And so we, we come, we help them get through that high demand, high intensity sort of service experience. But oftentimes that's just the beginning of a patient's journey in healthcare, right? A lot of times patients will tell me, they say, oh, you know, the hospital was a great experience. I had all the help. The hard part oftentimes in a patient's um, speedy re recovery actually comes when they get home from the hospital. And so it is, it is making sure that they can do the little things that will continue to help them improve. And some of those things are making sure they have access to their medications. They can get to their doctor's appointments, um, that they can just make sure they have access to healthy meals. All those components of things that I know that the foundation helps with are the keys that we need to really be able to to make sure that patients don't have to come back to the hospital. The program is deeply valued in particular for those in Fallbrook. You know, you still hear it now. When I round on patients and talk on talk to patients who are in the Fallbrook area, particularly those seniors, when the, when the hospital there closed, there was a gap. And to fill that gap, we're fortunate, you know, that TVH has been able to fill that need, but that still doesn't necessarily change the fact that Geographically, we're further away in Fallbrook. And so in order to be able to help alleviate that need, obviously the Foundation for Senior Care and the Door to Door program has helped relieve much of that stress and that travel and some of those challenges for those seniors in Fallbrook that were used to having a hospital close and now are coming here. December, 2019, Bonnie left Temecula Valley Hospital after a broken hip and she got home and uh, who was waiting for her at home when she got there was Darlene from the foundation. 
Darlene welcomed her in, they took her through the house and they just kind of walked through some of the new obstacles and new challenges she's gonna be facing. Uh, when we talked to uh, Bonnie a few months ago, getting ready for this event, she told me she was a pilot. She, fl she flies planes. This woman is so tough and so amazing. And that day she had to sit there and have the opportunity to listen to Darlene explain to her that she can't just get up and walk. She said, I have a cane, I have all I need. And Darlene highly recommended not to use the cane, that she needs the walker. If she's going to get better, these are the tools that she needs to get better. Um, we know how it turns out because now Bonnie's up, running around, running her errands. She's an amazing individual, and we'd like to share something from her now. Well, I did break my hip the 30th of November, and I'll be all right. Just leave me alone for a few minutes, and I'll be fine. And then when I tried to stand up, there was trouble. So I was taken to the hospital in Temecula, and I was, sure I was protesting all the way, I need to go home. That's all I have to do, just let me go home. And finally, at the end of the day, they said, you have a broken hip and we have to fix it. So you have to stay. Okay. The next morning, the, the uh, physician came in, the surgeon came in and checked me out. And I said, when can I go home? And he said, when there's someone there to take care of you. Uh oh, I live alone. I have no relatives. I've made no plans to have any problems. What do I do now? I was terrified. There I was in Temecula without transportation, <laughs> not, not able to walk without a walker. What do I do? So I called the Foundation for Senior Care. Tuesday afternoon, they came with the van. Darlene was driving. She checked me out of the hospital. I have no idea how I got out of the hospital because she took care of all of it. We got back to town. Um, Darlene asked me if I needed a prescription picked up. I did. She took care of that. Uh, she asked if I needed groceries. She took care of that. I'd only been gone about three days, so I didn't need groceries. And then we got home, and there was a young woman waiting for me from she was out in the driveway. Darlene came in and um, she checked the house. She picked up a couple of um, little throw rugs that I had lying around. She said, no, these have to go. And I am so grateful. I felt better already. I started healing immediately and it was just easier that way. I yeah, wanted to go home and that's what it took. And I, I'm so grateful to the foundation and um, I'm a big fan. And we're a big fan of you, Bonnie. Uh, Teresa, this is exactly why we're here tonight. Um, you've heard you've heard Bonnie, heard June and Terry. And I think June said, um, you know, before she moved to Fallbrook, where she was living, they didn't have the caravan service. Um, and that you, you guys provide that for her and her transportation. And Bonnie, she didn't have anyone to help her home from the hospital. Wow, this is awesome that awesome that we are here and we're here because of you. Um, how to give. Um, you've heard it before and I'm going to say it again. Um, reach out 2020.ggo.bid. You can definitely get online, get registered. Um, we need your bids. If you just want to make a gift and you uh, want to maybe just put it in the chat bar. You can't bid on our live auction items in our chat bar, but you can make a gift. Teresa and I are standing right here watching the chat. We can see you in real time. We'd love to have uh, some donations to read out. Just put your name in there. What's $25, if it's $1,000, if it's more. And then Teresa, they can also call, right? Yes, if you call our office main number at 760-723-7570, you'll get to talk to one of our amazing staff to help you. Again, we can't do this without you. And um, I also want to say we can't do it without folks like uh, the David T. Doris E. Staples Foundation. So tonight, if you've joined us in our galas before um, down at Palo Mesa, um, we always uh, had a huge giving wall, individual gifts that, uh, that mean so much to the everyday services we offer at Foundation for Senior Care. Um, items like um, $100 um, offers assistance to a vet. 
Um, if you can donate $100 for that, we would love to do that. $75 is a birthday party. That's right, for $75, you can sponsor a birthday party right here at our Foundation Senior Club. Um, every month we do that. And a $500 gift tonight is through our Door Through Door program. But every gift tonight that you, you um, can make in that online giving wall is going to be matched for the first $5,000. And that's a big shout out to the David T. and Doris E. Staples Foundation. They've generously donated $5,000 and they want to see us match that. So every gift that you can buy tonight on our giving wall will be matched. And thank you so much for that. Um, Teresa, we've got so many donations. Heck, I'm just thinking there. Uh, Carmen <laughs> Sanchez. Carmen, thank you for your $250. Oh, I see you. you in our chat. And um, I also, Diane Beach. Five hundred dollars, Diane. Thank you. Thank you. I love these. This is great. And I think we've got a few more to call out, right? We do. We do. I want to start out with uh, Barbara Jarns for twenty dollars. Thank you, Barbara. And also um, from Silverado, Rick Tapetti. Rick, thank you. I hope you're watching tonight. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Karen Estes, a hundred dollars. Thank you, Bob and Eileen Pace, two thousand dollars. Thank you. I've got a shout out to Barbara and CD Creech for $3,000. Barbara CD, thank you very much for that $3,000 gift. And I also have Carla Edwards for $100. Carla, Carla, thank you for your gift. Lanella and Brett Vitale, thank you for your $500 gift. And Vince Ross, thank you for your $200 gifts. And well, I have one from, from Laura Hollick for $2,000. Laura, this is exciting. This is a lot it, of fun. It's a lot of fun. But you know what might be even more fun? What's that? Getting started with our live auction. The live auction. If you're just now tuning in, that's right. We're going to go straight off to our live auction. This is going to be a little bit different than we've done in the past. I don't see your hands up. I don't see your smiling faces. I can see a few of you on Zoom. Thank you very much. A few of you. You know, you're looking great. A few of you others, I think you started drinking a little bit early, but that's okay. We are so glad you're joining us on Zoom. I see some smiles. Thank you, everybody wave. Everybody on Zoom, do a wave. There we go. Thank you very much for the wave. All right, let's get started with our live auction item. We've got four items that we're gonna to talk to you about. I'm gonna start off with three. Um, our first live auction item is set sale. That's right, every year Dr. Pace donates this amazing package. You're gonna set sail on his 48 foot yacht with Robert Pace. And uh, right now we've got, um, so this is a good, you two different options. You can do um, a sail out to the open seas. You can go whale watching, chase the dolphin, cruise around the Coronado Islands, or you can actually stay right inside the harbor. Dr. Pace will take care of the, the charcuterie tray, the, the champagne, and just set sail for a nice relaxing afternoon. You get to choose either the open seas or hang out in the bay, watch the skyline of San Diego, all of these things. I think right now we're at $750. Let's go to $800, $800, maybe $850. You can choose, go as high as you want. We won't judge. Next item we have coming up on our live auction is our wine tasting. You're gonna be short around in the care van. This is our very own care van that we use for deliveries to get seniors to and from the hospital. We use this care van to get our vet down for services. We use this care van. You heard us talk about our, um, our meal delivery program. We use these care vans for those meal deliveries. We use these for everything, but now we're gonna take you and three of your friends to four of our favorite wineries right here in Fallbrook. You're gonna go out to uh, the Beach House, Beach House Winery, um, Myrtle Creek, uh, Myrtle Creek Winery right here in Fallbrook in Casa Tiena, Vista right here in Fallbrook and um, to Dr. Iacobelli's estate. You're going to get wine tasting and all four of these great things. We're going to take care of all the driving. You get to enjoy all the wine and we've got a van so you can buy as much wine as you want at every one of them and we'll make sure those get home. Uh, next up, our, our third item for the live auction is our farm to table dinner. This is great. This is dinner for you and up to nine of your friends for ten, all 10 of you at the beautiful Callista Farms. Chef Shannon is going to be using all the seasonal fresh ingredients grown on her own farm right there and cook dinner, prepare a meal for you, for you and nine of your friends. You're going to be on a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, patio with amazing vista views under shade trees. It's an amazing experience. Obviously, we're going to do that when you're ready. Um, we know that, you know, there's challenges on getting together. So if it's your own personal party of 10 and we can do that within the rules, we definitely will. But we will work around the COVID restrictions and make this happen 
when you're ready. Not when we're ready, but when you're ready. So here's a great out one for that. Um, all three of those items tonight, and I've got one more I'm gonna share a little bit later. Call your friends, talk to your friends, get those bids in on the live auction item. Again, you have to be registered uh, to, to, uh, to get your bids in. You can't put that in the chat bar. The only thing you put in the chat bar are just your donations and individual gifts. Uh, Carmen Sanchez, I think you're the last one. Thank you very much for that $250 gift. Um, Teresa, that's kind of fun on these live auction items. We're going to give you guys a few minutes to think about those and get your bids in. But Teresa, I think we've got a, a winner, all right? Another winner from our... We do. We had we pulled another raffle winner that will be awarded a country wine set. That's three bottles of 17 hands wine and some really adorable mason glass wine Glasses. How adorable can a mason glass They're be? They're pretty cute. Are They're they pretty, pretty cute. cute? All right, well, and the lucky person who's going to get to enjoy them is Dolly Hardy. Thank Dolly, you, Dolly. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dolly. Uh, if those mason jars are that cute, Dolly, get, make sure you send a picture of those and tag us on Facebook at Foundation for Senior Care. Let us know how much you love them. Thank you very much. We've still got a few. We've got one more, right? We do. We've got, we've got we do. one more. So two more? We have one more, and one more. so stay tuned, and it is $200 in Visa gift cards, so you can get whatever you would like. And the holidays are coming. What a great time. You've donated money. You get a little money back. Do some Christmas shopping. Um, Darlene, we can't do everything we do without some uh, huge community support partners that we have. Tell us a little bit about um, the fire department. Yes, right now we're going to be hearing from a very important partner, and we're going to hear from Fire Chief Stephen Abbott. The premise behind that program is to uh, try to provide a safety net for um, members of our community. Very often what we find is, is people are accessing 911 uh, for uh, non-life-threatening uh, emergencies. And in other cases, they're accessing 911 for 911 emergencies that were very often preventable. Um, so th those are both events that we want to try to minimize. Being in the, um, what you might call the cul-de-sac of the county, it, county services are just not readily available. And that is where um, the Foundation for Senior Care really fills in a, a very important gap quite nicely for our elderly community. Uh, very often we find that the, the causes of their uh, problems are, are due to uh, a, a lack of addressing basic needs like access to medicine, access to doctor's appointments, access to basic uh, safety practice and uh, enhancements around their home, like fall protection and you know uh, handrails and those types of things. What we do with this program is when we find people that, that fall under these conditions, we, we with the, the client's permission, we notify the Foundation for Senior Care and they send one of their care advocates out to do an assessment and really get to the root of what the causative factors behind these people's challenges. And then they act as a, a resource hub to get these folks appropriately plugged into various community resources, be it local, state, or federal, uh, to, to establish connections to help them get the help they need. And in so doing, a couple of things happen. One, uh, they don't call 911 nearly as often, which keeps us available, of course, for other emergencies. And secondarily, very often, uh, and I think more importantly, we prevent uh, more significant, uh, uh, more serious healthcare problems down the road. Thank you very much, Chief. All right, an update. We're going to talk about that live auction. I told you I'm going to talk about that fourth item, and I see somebody's already gone ahead, and they're the overachievers, and they've already got a bid on that fourth item I haven't even told you about. Um, so first one is our open sale. That's right, with Dr. Pace, you're gonna be out there. Right now that trip is at $800. So an $850 or $900 bid is gonna get you out on the water, hanging out with the dolphins, the whales. What was that, Kim? 850 is now. So how about a $900 bid? Here at 850, would have been $900. Go ahead, click that button. Let us know you want that item. Um, after that, we've got the wine tasting in our caravan. Uh, what a great experience, you're four amazing wineries. Um, our farm table dinner, that's for you and nine of your friends. These are all amazing packages. And again, all the money that you donate for these packages goes straight to the Foundation for Senior Care. Thank you so very much for your gifts. Now, the one I haven't told you about is Scotch. 
Teresa, what happened? How did we get this? This <laughs> so just happened. It just happened. Yesterday, someone came into our office and they wanted to make a contribution to the event and to give back to the Foundation for Senior Care. So this collection of scotch and liqueurs was donated by one so of our clients. Glenn Fittish, we've got Chevis Regal. I think we've got um, three different bottles um, of, uh, of Glenn Levitt. We've got a 15 year old scotch, we've got a 12 year old and an 18. However, the 18, I'm told that there's somebody here in our studio <laughs> that wants that bottle. So you can go ahead and bid here in the studio if you're registered, because right now I think we're at $75. <laughs> Am I correct, Kim, we're at $75? We are at $7,500 for all of these bottles of scotch. That is a steal. I hope to see somebody come up with a couple hundred dollar bid at least for this. As much as we'd like to keep the scotch for us here in the studio, <laughs> no, I can't, I know. Um, we're gonna sell it to you because we need the money because that's what we use to pay for all that food and make all those deliveries that we do. Again, we can't do this without you. So remember all four of those live auction items are live. Uh, we're gonna come back in just a few minutes and, uh, and sell those off. So when we come back, um, we're gonna sell those off. But before we do that, I talked about we can't do this without you. We can't do this without our sponsors. So I'd like to go to Teresa and she's gonna thank our sponsors. Tonight wouldn't be possible without our wonderful Perfect. sponsors. And as I read this list of names and businesses, I, I want you to stop and think about what's happening right now in the world, these uncertain times, and that these businesses are stepping up and sponsoring an event like this, that they're giving back to the community and that they have big hearts for seniors. So we are very grateful. Alignment Health Plan, thank you. This is the first year sponsoring and we are thrilled. Gray Bill Medical, every day our caravans are going to your building, bringing patients. Thank you for giving back. Pacific Western Bank, every year you do so much in our community for all of us nonprofits, thank you. Temecula Valley Hospital, you are a wonderful partner in our door through door program. Thank you. Abbott Vascular, Estancia Senior Living, the newest senior community in Fallbrook. So welcome to Fallbrook. Kaiser Permanente Senior Advantage, another insurance company sponsoring for the first time this year. Thank you for your belief in us and what we do. Alvarado Veterinary Hospital, caring not just for our pets, but for people too, and especially seniors. Caring Companions Referral Agency of Temecula, Golden Care, Right at Home, two home care companies that are great partners with us, thank you. The Elizabeth Hospice, Living Waters Hospice, two amazing programs that help people through that last stage of life. Rancho Family Medical Group, a big thank you to the Millers. Again, another place our caravans are going to each day and we are partnering with. SDGNE, thank you. This is the first year you've sponsored. Senior Home Purchase Program, an amazing program that helps seniors sell their home and move into uh, living facilities so and communities, so thank you and Major Market, our partner with groceries and keeping seniors safe during COVID. Thank you to all these businesses. And now I think it's time to find out who won the live auction. I love the live auction. It's one of my favorite parts of this event. A little bit different this year, and it's not too late to raise your hands, click your bids, make your donations. I believe our sailing trip, we're up to 850, so we're looking for a $900 bid. If you wanna go hang out with Dr. Pace and uh, a little bit of competition going on that Scotch collection, we're up to 105, so $125 gift. You're gonna take home 115, so now about $130. $130 bid, you can take home that Scotch. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. We're gonna close all four of these items down now. That's right, we're gonna do a countdown. I'm gonna start with the ocean sail. Our item is 2001. For those of you following along online, we're gonna close that in 30 seconds. So if you wanna get in, this is a great opportunity. San Diego is gorgeous. If you're gonna do that harbor cruise, you get to cruise around by the midway. The skyline views downtown San Diego are amazing. Four hours, Dr. Pace is taking care of everything for you, you and three of your friends, or you can hit the seas. That's right, you can, how much? 
$950 bid just in, so $1,000 on this one. Again, you can hit the high seas. You can go out, cruise Coronado Islands, do whale watching, chase the dolphins. He may even let you drop a line and do some fishing. That's up to you and Dr. Pace. $950, who'd have $1,000 on that? We're going to close that in five. That's right. Get ready. Hit those buttons now. Four, three, two, and one, thank you so much. I'm gonna tell you who wins in just a little bit. We're gonna go through the rest of them. Our wine tasting and farm to table dinner. We're gonna close both of those right now. If you wanna get in, get your bids in. These are amazing opportunities. Um, not a whole lot of activity on those tonight. We need your help. Make your bids, get in on them. Both our wine tasting for four in one of our caravans. You're gonna be chauffeured around. We're doing all the driving in a farmhouse dinner. Fresh food, fresh ingredients by Dr. Shannon for 10. We're gonna close those in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, come on, click that button, get your bids in. Those items, no, 2002 and 2003, we are closing those items. Thank you very much. Now a hot shot on the scotch. Uh, Kim, where are we at on the scotch now? We are at a $130 bid. Who to know $150? That's still a deal. There's several bottles of scotch here. $150 bid. We're going to close that in 10 seconds. $135 to bid. Who to bid $150? $150, one $150, $150, $140 is a bid. Who to bid $150? It's not too late. Get in in 10, 9, 8, $145 bid. Who's going to bid at $150? $175. Thank you. Now to bid $200. Go big. It's okay. It's only money. You'll make more. We need it. $200 bid on the scotch. Come on. Three, two, and one. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Our live auction tonight is over, but there are so many opportunities. Don't forget, we've got that giving board. Uh, we've got our online auction. Our online auction is open till October 31st, so you have some time on that. That giving board, that giving wall, all those donations are going to be matched. Um, this, is, this is a lot of fun. We're not even done yet. There's so many ways you can donate money. Um, I want to bring up and share um, a little bit about uh, Bob Franz. Bob Franz, um, great individual. He's been uh, a participant with Foundation for Senior Care for many years. Bob? Good evening. My name is Bob Franz and I joined the foundation a little after the millennium. And at the time we had uh, no programs, no mission in life really, and no employees, but we did have a very good board. And that board had ideas about what could be done to help the seniors in our community. And through the years, those programs have come to fruition in what you see today. And we took a big risk in hiring people and going out and trying to find the money to make that all come true. And if you want to know what the foundation does today, just come to visit the uh, adult daycare center or take a ride on the caravan or go along with one of our care advocates when they visit a client. You'll see firsthand what this foundation really does for our community. I'm reminded of last year when we had Adult Protective Services at the fundraiser. And the representative said this, if every community had a foundation for senior care, there would be no need for Adult Protective Services. Now that was an overstatement because they can do things that we can't do, but it just points out what this community has as an asset to do the things that we have. And I encourage you to get behind it and do everything you can to help. Times are, are unsettled right now and uh, any, anything you can give is a blessing. Thank you very much. Enjoy the party and Jane and I will have a fun as well. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. And more importantly, thank you for almost 20 years of volunteering and service with Foundation for Senior Care. Um, and I'd really like to thank you more so than that for that huge gift that you made this year of $10,000. Bob and Jane, thank you so very much for $10,000 gift tonight. Um, you know, Bob, that money goes so far to help community members uh, right here in Fallbrook. And Teresa, um, 
here's a community member that um, we just met this year um, in Fallbrook. And uh, I think some people kind of over overlook some of these mm -hmm. situations and Foundation for Senior Care said no. Can you tell us a little bit about Cody? Yeah, I want to tell you about Cody. Some of you may have even met Cody, may have heard her story, but we met Cody when she came to us heartbroken because she had to give up her pet, her dog, because she had become homeless and that wasn't the life she wanted um, for her, her loved pet. So we helped her across uh, many different ways with health problems, with um, support as she was living behind the library in um, Fallbrook. She was a wonderful person, always cleaning her area and finding ways to give back to the community. And I'm very proud to announce that now, together with our partners in the community, we've helped find Cody a home. As Cody says in her own words, a forever's home. So we're gonna hear from Cody now. <laughs> the best bed, I, I've never had a good bed, and I've never lived in anything tiny, I've never had anything big, so this is overwhelming. So blessed that God put senior care in my path. I, everybody there is just, and I mean, they're sincere. The people there are sincere. It's like, they don't just do the work, like, they get on the phone, and like I said, they don't even need to jump into a, a phone booth to change into their capes. They're so quick. They've been for senior care. Like they found me a forever's home. I'm gonna be almost 80 years old and I have no place to go. They found me a place where I feel secure and I can be happy. But it is, they found me a forever's home. Darlene even called me on a Saturday to tell me to come and I was there first thing on Monday. So like without senior care, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have this. And when I needed transportation to get my leg braced because I've had three back surgeries, they took me all the way to get my leg braced in Temecula. Senior care needs money because they, they're putting all this stuff out and they do it with a happy heart. God gives them a full heart and they use it. Thank you, Cody. Um, you know, one thing she didn't say that I don't know if you noticed it, um, but uh, when, when we did that video with Cody, um, she was so excited. She had this house with all this furniture, but uh, she said she wanted some patio furniture. Um, we didn't have any in the truck at the time, but um, if you want to participate and you want to help Cody, you want to be the first one in that chat bar uh, to make a gift, you know, maybe it's $500, $1,000, we can buy her for some patio furniture for her forever home. Um, we would love, love to be able to help her do that, but again, we need your help to do that. Um, as we're going through that, a big shout out to Debbie Forbes. Thank you so much for your donation in the chat bar, Debbie. Thank you very much for that gift. Um, uh, Robert Franz, I see your bid for $1,000. I hope you got that in on, uh, on her online forum. Um, I'm going to read off some, uh, some um, announcements for some winners on the live auction. Live auction on the sailboat. Bob, you're probably building on this one, but uh, unfortunately, we didn't see it online there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and award this to Robert Pace. Robert Pace, your own boat? <laughs> Robert, you did that? He said 950. You know what, Robert? We're going to kick you out of it and we're going to give it to Bob Franz because we've got it documented right here in our chat bar. He outbid you. And I get to make up the rules because that's we're live and we can do this. So, Robert, you didn't win. Bob Franz, congratulations. We're going to take your thousand dollars. Thank you very much for that donation. Our whiskey basket, uh, Margaret Gallen, thank you very much. $150, you got a great deal. You've got some amazing bottles of, of scotch, so thank you so much for that. Um, we did have two items, our farm to table, food to table, and our wine tasting. Um, unfortunately, I think your buttons may have been broken. Maybe you couldn't get in the app. We're gonna go ahead and put those into our online auction, and we're gonna leave those open until the 31st. So thank you very much for those. If you still want to get in, here's a great opportunity. We're going to put those on the online auction. Those will be live in the online auction later tonight. But again, you have till the 31st. Um, again, donations keep coming in. I want to read out a few, um, Teresa. We've got uh, Jim and Miriam Kirk. Thank you so much for your $500 gift. These donations help us uh, take care of things like Cody. Cody came in. This is not necessarily a budgeted item that we have, but these gifts that we get 
this is our opportunity to help them when these things come up. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so thank you very much. How about Kent Brady? Thank you so much for your $100 gift. And thank you, Martha Ann Myers, for your $100 gift. And Linda Flynn for your $50 gift. I've got Josie Poletz. Josie Poletz for $100. And I see right here on our chat bar, um, Brad. Brad Macy, thank you, Brad, for your $50 gift. Every gift we get tonight is going to have a huge impact. Uh, Michelle Albania, Albania for $20. Thank you, Michelle. Jim and Julie Hardesy for $100. Thank you. Robert Pace for $100. Thank you. How about Carlos Perez from Affordable Quality Home Care for $1,000, Robert, or Carlos Perez, thank you so much for that from Affordable Quality Home Care for a $1,000 gift, and Portia Vought in, from Golden Care for another $1,000 gift. And thank you, Megan Moy, for your $20 gift, and Jen and Jim Vampola for $250. Thank you. Um, uh, you've got Jen and Jim? I do. All right. Well, I've got Jim and Jen as well. <laughs> so we may double up on that. Thank you very much for that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is kind of what we do, what we're doing here and why we're doing this tonight. We need you tonight more than ever. Um, we heard earlier, if you watched the pre-show, um, uh, Rachel, one of our uh, executive director from a few years ago, I think she said it best. She said, this is our opportunity to give back. These seniors are the one who helped us pave the way to get to where we are now. So here's your opportunity to give back. If it's a thousand dollar gift, if it's a $25 gift, everything we donate tonight for Foundation for Senior Care is gonna have a huge impact. Um, while you're thinking about that gift, um, I need to do a big shout out. Uh, last year, Bob and Judy Barrick, uh, they donated to Foundation for Senior Care last year, a thousand dollars. And that's a big gift. We can do a lot for a thousand dollars. We can do uh, we, we do several reds. I think we can do for a thousand dollars. I know we can fund the, um, the our daycare program, um, where we can aff offer respite care for one individual for an entire year. So the, the respite care they can come in and bring their bring their senior to our daycare center and have the day uh, just to take care of themselves. That's so important, and that does come at a cost. But every thousand dollar gift tonight, um, again, thanks to Bob and Judy Barrick. Last year, they donated $1,000. This year, they want to donate $20,000. So a huge step up because they believe in what you do every day at the Foundation for Senior Care. So we're going to try to take that $20,000 and match it. So I'm going to challenge every one of you tonight, if you can, if you have the ability and you can make that $1,000 gift, you can do it right here in the chat bar. Um, I see uh, Roy and, and Beth, uh, Rory and Beth McCormick. Thank you for your $100 donation. Really appreciate that. And um, uh, Mark, uh, Brad and Mark, uh, or Brad and Mark would like to donate $1,000. Um, thank you very much for that. But uh, back to Bob and Judy Barrick. They're donating $20,000, and I'd like to see if we can get 20 $1,000 gifts from you. Put it in the chat bar, donate online, however you need to do it. Call us if you want. The phone number's down below as well. Um, we need those gifts. We need your help tonight more than ever. We do so much. You've heard about the amazing program we did with our door-to-door -door programs with our food deliveries. We delivered hundreds of meals daily, uh, and we did it in record time uh, and you within know, four days. We have a special thing for the first five people who will donate the $1,000. We do. We got a call from the Yacobelli, um, Dr. Yacobelli from the winery in right behind Paula Mesa, that he will give wine tasting to the first five people who will donate tonight. Dr. Yacobelli, thank, thank you so much for that. So the first five people that want to right there in the chat bar, if you can get it online. Um, thank you very much. Get those thousand dollar gifts and you're going to get wine tasting at the, uh, with Dr. Yacobelli's estate. Thank you very much for that. Mark Albino, thank you so much uh, for the shout out, uh, fellow Rotarian. I know there's a lot of Rotarians on this link tonight. I've got my rotary pin on. I hope you do as well. Um, again, all these gifts make a huge impact in everything we do for the foundation. Um, Teresa, I, this is, we're kind of wrapping it up. We're getting down to the end of this. It's not too late, ladies and gentlemen, to get those gifts in. Join us in the chat bar. Join us online. If you want to just donate through the app, you can do that. Um, but Teresa, I believe um, we're getting down to the end of it. And you've got another, you've got some names to read? I do. I have our last drawing of the night. And that is $200 Visa gift cards to get whatever your little heart desires. And the winner of that is Penny Fedoracek. 
Penny, congratulations, $200 gift card. You can spend that anywhere and the holidays are coming. So thank you again to everybody who registered tonight. Um, again, we couldn't do this without you. Um, this is a, a huge community effort. Um, I believe uh, this is it. We're kind of wrapping up. I'm looking online and any more donations coming up. Um, Mark, I saw you. Oh, come here, bring them out. Yeah, we got, we got some more donations just coming in. This is great news. All right, how about um, Richard, Phil, Richard and Phyllis Hobson for $100. Thank you very much, Richard. Um, Vitality Medical Group for $100. This is exciting. Um, Bristol Hospice for $200. Oh, this is good. I thought we were done and here we're going. Um, Kathy Ann Harney, $100. Thank you so much, Kathy, for the $100 gift. Jeff and Jill Cole, thank you for $200. And Ariel Hall for $20 gift. This is awesome. Um, how about North County Veterinary Clinic? A $100 gift. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Come on up here. Come on up here. Um, Brian and Kathy Harney, a $2,000 gift. Um, Apriva Hospice, $500. Thank you for that. Um, Beverly Lipka, a $100 donation. This is exciting. Wow, what a fun way to end this. We're not even done yet. How about Margaret Gallen, $25. Margaret, thank you so much for that. Uh, let's see, it says, thank you for your call and donations. Lucy, thank you for calling in and making a donation. I don't know how much that was, but uh, definitely thank you so much for that. Wow, um, this has been exciting. What I just got? got a packet too. You just got a I got packet. A packet. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I know that one. <laughs> Do I you know, know that, that one? one? My wife just donated $100. <laughs> thank you, Joy. Thank you. Brian Visser, $50. Thank you so much. Rick Jurecitano, name sounds a little familiar. Yeah, you $500. Know, you know that guy, right? You know that guy. I know that guy. Thank you. Joyce Wood, $200. Thank you. Sydney Troll, $10. And Ron and Mary Banizak, $100. And Ron Hall, thank you for your $1,000 gift. Well, this is exciting. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, again, you know we can't do this without you. We got more? We got Come more? On, bring them in. We're, all right. We're, we're okay. Here's more. We're okay. Go ahead, read them all. Okay, off. one for me, one for you. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Okay, Penny Fedora check, $100. How about Lucy Robertson for $250? Wow, you. this is exciting. So, uh, Jules, welcome. Thank you. Look at you guys. Did you did you both play in this whole red dress uh, together? No, it just kind of happened. It just kind of happened. Hold that mic up there so everybody can. All right. All right. Um, so, Jules, you're one of our care advocates. I am. You get to go out and work with these seniors every day. It's because of individuals like you that we're able to raise this kind of money. You and Darlene, and I know there's a few other care advocates. Alicia there. as well. So, Darlene, Alicia, and I are the three senior care advocates for the Foundation for Senior Care. And you guys, you're like the heroes. Um, in the videos that we have, we know we hear all these shout outs to the care advocates. You're the ones that show up through the door through door program. You're the ones making making the calls, the house calls, teaching people what they need, how they do it. I mean, we couldn't do, Foundation for Senior Care wouldn't be what they are without amazing individuals like you. So thank you very much. Thank you um, so much. We're, you've got more. Oh. You've got more, wow. All right. One more just in. We have a gift from Tracy Steffen for $1,000. Tracy, thank, thank you. you so very much for that. Wow. So I think you've got a number there. I want you to add $1,000 to that number because this just came in. So tell us how much. What has he got? $90,593. $90,500. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for everything you've done. These gifts mean so much to us at the Foundation for Senior Care. Thank you for your online bids. Thank you for all the donations in our chat bar. Our online auction, remember, that's going to stay open until October 31st. The giving wall is still there. And remember, uh, we've got that great match. Um, for five thousand dollars on every item on our giving wall so take advantage of that Teresa. thank you for allowing me to be here with you guys this was a lot of fun thank you thank you everyone for joining us tonight thank you for your generosity and we hope to see you next year hopefully in person have a good night good night everybody thank you very much